welcome to Knockout Rituals, where boys get their head bust wide open, and we talk about everything boxing-related, upcoming fights, predictions, statistics, and everything. So basically, what I want to talk about is Charlo. As you know, Jamal Charlo, he was offered the, you know, he got the offer from the Zone, and right now we don't know what he's gonna do, but we don't want to see. You know, uh, we want to see him get these fights. You know, it, it shouldn't be like later on in the future, Canelo fighting Triple G, uh, you know, another time. Like, you know, we need Jamal Charlo to get these big fights we want to see. But that's what everybody's talking about right now. I'm not going to talk about that. So basically what I want to talk about is his brother, Jamal. Uh, apparently both of them are fighting in June, but on different cards. So, Jermail has the rematch with Tony Harrison. And if you saw the first Harrison fight, you know, it was a close fight. A lot of people were actually upset with the outcome. They thought it was a robbery. Now, it was close. And if you saw it, you know Harrison was hitting Jermail with some good counters when Jermail was coming in. Now, you know, Jermail was fighting from mid-range, all that mid-range fighting, trying to close the distance, lunging in, basically telegraphing what he was going to do was setting him up to get hit by Harrison's counters. Now, the thing is, although Harrison was hitting Jermail while he was off balance, he wasn't doing it enough. It was it was here and there. It was it was too few. Um, Jermail was the one who was basically pressing the action. You know, he hit uh he actually hurt Tony Harrison. He rocked him about two or three times. I can't remember which, but I know he rocked him a few times. Harrison never really hurt him, and Harrison was fighting the entire fight on his back foot. He was fighting going backwards. He was boxing well, he can box, you know what I mean? But I thought Jamel edged it out, but I don't think it was a robbery because it was close. On the flip side, I thought Jamal versus Korobov in the very next fight was, you know, I feel like Corbo could have got that because he boxed well. And I think Jamal won all the way there because he just watched his brother lose, even though he hurt the Russian in the last round. But anyways, just let me know below what you think the outcome of the rematch with Harrison and Jamal will be like. You know what I'm saying? Who you got winning. And you know the winner supposedly is going to get Jared Hurd. Now, the thing with Jared Hurd is he has to fight Julian. So if he can make it through J-Rock, then he's going to get the winner of Harris, Harrison and Jamel. So we'll finally have the charlo Hurd fight, which would be a good fight because, as you know, Hurd can absorb a lot of punishment. And he already beat um, Tony Harrison, in which Harrison was fighting good in that fight too. You know, he was boxing well, but like I said, Hurd is big and strong and he can absorb a lot of punishment. He ended up stopping Harrison in the ninth round. So... You know, I don't know if Jermail will be able to hurt her. You know what I mean? That's a big, strong dude. That'd be a good fight. So, yeah, if this rematch goes as planned, then, uh, you know, Hurd will get one of them. And Hurd is, uh, you know, he's 23-0, and 0 and he has three belts. He got the IBO, the WBA, the IBF. So, if Jermail can get the WC, WBC strap belt from Harrison and then beat Hurd, He'll have four belts. Now, the WBO, you know, uh, my gooey has that belt, you know. He's 32-0. and 0. He ain't really just fought nobody yet. But uh, just let me know what you think, uh, you know, how these fights will go. If you think her will get through J-Rock. And if you think uh, Jermel can beat Harrison. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.